Hello friends, this is Lakshmi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about next property of acids and bases. Okay? In this, in this property, acids react with metals to produce hydrogen gas H2. H2 means hydrogen gas. Acids react with metals to produce hydrogen gas. Here you can see the one example. Acid HCl. HCl means hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is react with metal. Zinc. Zn means zinc. To give rise to. Zinc react with chlorine to form ZnCl2 plus H2. H2 means hydrogen gas. ZnCl2 means zinc chloride. Acids react with metals to produce hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas was first prepared by Henry Cavendish. The scientist name is Henry Cavendish. Who was prepared first to hydrogen gas? Henry Cavendish. Which gas is released when acids react with metals? Hydrogen gas. Who was first to prepare by hydrogen gas? Henry Cavendish. Which of the following reaction is used? To produce hydrogen gas by Henry Cavendish, this reaction. Hydrochloric acid react with zinc to produce zinc chloride plus hydrogen. Okay. Some properties of hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas is a colorless gas. It is a Tasteless, odorless, odorless means does not have any smell. It is insoluble in water. Insoluble means it does not dissolve in water. It gives pop sound. Next. Hydrogen gas is the lightest gas in nature. So, lightest gas in nature. Which gas? Hydrogen gas. So, it is used in balloons. This is important. Which gas is used in balloons? Hydrogen gas. Because of which is the lightest gas in nature. It is a Combustible gas. Hmm? Combustible gas. Next, it is has high calorific value. High calorific value. Nearly one lakh fifty thousand kilojoules energy release when. 1 cage of hydrogen burns in the presence of oxygen. So, it is used as a fuel. Okay. Next. In the preparation of the ammonia by Habas process, hydrogen gas is used. Okay. What is the properties? It is a colorless gas. Tasteless gas, odorless, it is insoluble in water, it gives pop sound, it is the lightest gas in nature. So, it is used in balloons. It is a combustible gas. It has a high calorific value. Nearly 1,50,000 kilojoules energy is released. One cage of hydrogen burns in the presence of oxygen. So, it is used as a fuel. Hydrogen is also used in the preparation of ammonia by Habes 
reaction. Okay. Here one application questions. Why pickles are not stored in metals? Why pickles are not stored in metals? Because of metals means copper, steel, stainless steel, zinc. These are all metals. Because pickles have sorry. Acidic in nature. Which nature? Acidic in nature. So, it is stored in the pickles in metals as it is react with metals to give hydrogen gas. So, pickles are spoiled. That is why pickles are not stored in the metals. It is stored in jars, glass jars. Just like. Okay. As it react with metals to produce the hydrogen gas. Which gas is released when acids react with metals? Hydrogen gas. Who was first to produce hydrogen gas? Henry Cavendish. Henry Cavendish used this reaction. HCl plus zinc used as to ZnCl2 plus hydrogen to produce the hydrogen gas. Okay. Hydrogen gas is a colorless gas, tasteless gas, odorless gas. It is not, it is insoluble in water. It gives pop sound. It is the lightest gas in nature. So, it is used in the bellows. It has high calorific value. So, it is used as a fuel. Hydrogen gas is used in the preparation of ammonia by Haber's reaction. Okay. Next. Next property, acids react with CO3 minus 2 means carbonates gives carbon dioxide. Which gas is liberated? Carbon dioxide. Acids react with HCO3 minus 2 means bicarbonate or hydrogen carbonate to liberate carbon dioxide. Vasids react with carbonates and bicarbonates which gas is liberated? Carbon dioxide is liberated. Okay. Next, how to identify the carbon dioxide? Carbon dioxide gives put off the fire. Okay. It is put off the fire. It, hydrogen is a combustible gas. But carbon dioxide is the put off the fire. Next identification is carbon dioxide is passed through the calcium hydroxide. The general name of calcium hydroxide is lime water. What is the chemical formula of lime water? CaOH taken twice. Okay. When carbon dioxide is passed through the calcium hydroxide, calcium carbonate is formed. The white color, milky white color precipitate. Milky white color precipitate is formed. This precipitate is calcium carbonate. Okay. But when excess of carbon dioxide is passed through the lime water, first we will get calcium carbonate. Okay. Then excess of carbon dioxide is passed through the lime water, we will get calcium bicarbonate. Ca HCO3 taken twice means calcium bicarbonate. It is not a precipitate. It is soluble in water. Okay. Calcium carbonate is the milky white color precipitate. First calcium carbonate is formed. When excess of carbon dioxide is passed through the lime water to form calcium bicarbonate. It is not a precipitate. It is soluble in water. Okay. 
Next, one application question. You know everyone, eggshell. Which color? White color. Because of calcium carbonate is present. Mm, you know marbles, floor materials, all are in white color. Because of calcium carbonate is present in these materials. When which compound is poured on the eggshell, you get carbon dioxide. Which compound is poured on the eggshell, you get carbon dioxide? Acids. Okay. Here, calcium carbonate. Eggshell means calcium carbonate. Eggshell are marbles. All are in white color because of presence of calcium carbonate. When acid is poured on the acid means HCl means hydrochloric acid is poured on the eggshell or marbles will get CaCl2 calcium chloride. Next carbon dioxide. 2H, H2O, which compounds are formed? Calcium chloride, carbon dioxide and water. Carbon dioxide give pungent odor smell. Okay. When acid is poured on the eggshell or marbles, will get carbon dioxide. It gives pungent odor smell. Okay. Metals react with carbonates and bicarbonates. Which gas is liberated? Carbon dioxide. How to identify the carbon dioxide? It is foot of the fire. Next identification is carbon dioxide is passed through the lime water. Means calcium hydroxide. First we will get calcium carbonate. It is milky white color precipitate. When excess of carbon dioxide is passed through the lime water. Then we will get calcium bicarbonate. It is not a precipitate. It is soluble in water. Next, acid is poured on the eggshell or marbles. Because it has calcium carbonate, we will get the gas carbon dioxide. Okay. Next property is neutralization. Neutralization. Okay. Acids react with bases to produce salts and water. Then acids react with metallic oxides which oxides metallic oxides we will get same products salts and water okay the reaction takes place between acids and bases we will get salts and water Acids react with metallic oxides. The same products, salts and water are formed. These reactions are called neutralization. What is that? Neutralization. Then, at the same time, bases also react with acids. Then get salts and water. Here, acids react with metallic oxides, will get salts and water. But they, bases react with non-metallic oxides, will get salts and water. So, what is the neutralization? Neutralization means the reaction takes place between acids and bases. Acids and metallic oxides, bases and acids, bases and non-metallic oxides. Okay. Here we can see the one example. Acid means HCl. 
HCl react with base NaOH will get NaCl plus H2O. HCl means acid. Acid react with base. NaOH means base. You will get salt. Sodium chloride is the salt and water. Okay. We can see the another example. The acid HCl is react with metallic oxide. CuO means copper oxide. Here copper is the metal. Oxygen is present at the copper. So this is called metallic oxide. We will get... CuCl2 means copper chloride, then water. This is acid. This is metallic oxide. Will get copper chloride is the salt. It is present in greenish blue color. Which color? Greenish blue color. Okay. What are the products in the neutralization reacts? Reaction products, products, what are the salts and water, okay. What are the reactants in neutralization reaction? Acid and base, acid and metallic oxides, bases and non-metallic oxide. What are the products in the Neutralization reaction, salt and water. What are the reactants in the neutralization reaction? Acid and base, acid and metallic oxide, base and non-metallic oxide. Okay. Then another property. Acids dissolve in water. Acids dissolve in water. To produce ions. Okay. The aqueous solution of acids. Or the good conductor of electricity. Why? Because of they produce ions. Okay. The compound which produce ions. Are to pass through the electricity through it. So here. Acids are dissolved in water to produce the ions. So, acids are the good conductors of electricity. Good conductors of electricity. Why? Because it produces the ions dissolved in water. So, if we have discussed this, what are the acids? Acids have sodium taste. Two types of acids. Natural acids and Chemical acids. Examples natural acids, formic acid, acetic acid, or butyric acid, extra. Okay. Chemical acids means produced in the laboratory. Example HCl, H2SO4. How to prepare the acids? Non metallic oxides react with water to produce the acid. So, these non metallic oxides are called acidic oxides. What is the common ion present in the acid? Hydrogen ion. Next, indicators. What is the use of indicators? Indicators are used to know the nature of the substance, either acidic or basic nature. Two types of indicators. Natural indicators, chemical indicators. Natural indicators, example, turmeric powder, red cabbage juice, hibiscus flowers, rose petals, litmus paper. Litmus paper is prepared from the plant lichen, which belongs to the talophyta. Litmus paper is of two types, blue litmus paper and red litmus paper. Blue litmus paper dipped in the acidic solution, it turned into red color. Red litmus paper is dipped in basic solution, it turned into the blue color. Okay, next chemical indicators, methyl orange or phenophthalic. Methyl orange is adding to the acidic solution, we will get red color. Then phenophthalene is adding to the acidic solution, we will get colorless solution. Then olfactory indicators. Olfactory indicators means the smell is different in acidic media or basic media. 
examples onion vanilla essence clove oil okay next acids react with the metals to produce hydrogen ion hydrogen gas who was first to discover hydrogen gas henry cavendish which gas is used in the balloons hydrogen gas why it is the lightest gas in nature okay acids react with carbonates and bicarbonates which gas is liberated carbon dioxide examples acids means hcl carbonates na2 co3 means sodium bicarbonate will get which gas is liberated carbon dioxide nacl plus h2o plus co2 so acids react with carbonates to produce the carbon dioxide acids react with bicarbonates means nah co3 sodium bicarbonate will get the nacl plus h2o plus co2 okay nacl h2o plus co2 clear next next acids react with neutralization next property is neutralization acids react with bases metallic oxides to produce salt and water bases react with acids and non metallic oxides produce salts and water this is a neutralization reaction okay acids dissolve in water to produce the ions so acids are the good conductors of electricity because they produce the ions next topic is acids and their sources okay what is the next topic acids and their sources first formic acid what is that formic acid formic acid also known as methanoic acid what is that methanoic acid in latin formica means ants formic acid is present in the ants honey bees okay which acid is present in the ants formic acid next acetic acid acetic acid also known as ethanoic acid what is that ethanoic acid it is present in the vinegar vinegar okay next bitanoic acid bitanoic acid is present in butter next acid is oleic acid oleic acid is present in the olive oil next stearic acid stearic acid is present in fats next acid is palmitic acid palmitic is present in palm oil next lactic acid lactic acid is present in milk products like curd milk butter milk next oxalic acid oxalic acid is present in the spinach then tomatoes next tartaric acid tartaric acid tartaric is present in tamarind next malic acid 
manic acid is present in the apples okay formic acid present in the ants and honeybees acetic acid present in the vinegar butanoic acid is present in butter oleic acid is present in olive oil stearic acid is present in fats palmitic acid is present in the palm oil lactic acid is present in milk products like curd milk oxalic acid is present in spinach tomatoes tartaric acid is present in tamarind maric acid is present in apple next tonic acid tonic acid is present in tea okay chlorogenic acid chlorogenic acid is present in coffee where it is present coffee okay next carbonic acid carbonic acid is present in cool drinks like soda cool drinks lo present in like soda next uric acid uric acid is present in urine next hydrochloric acid hydro hydrochloric acid is present in our stomach where it is present in our stomach next citric acid citric acid is present in citrus fruits amla oranges goa next ascorbic acid ascorbic acid is also present in the amla goa oranges okay these are the some acids and they source these are all natural acids formic acid present in ants acetic acid present in vinegar butanoic acid present in butter oleic acid is present in olive oil stearic acid is present in fats palmitic acid is present in palm oil lactic acid is present in milk products like curd oxalic acid is present in the spinach and tomatoes tartaric acid is present in the tamarind malic acid is present in apples tonic acid is present in the tea chlorogenic acid is present in the coffee carbonic acid is present in cool drinks uric acid is present in urine hydrochloric acid is present in our stomach citric acid is present in amla oranges goa ascorbic acid is present in amla goa oranges okay these are some acids and their sources next uses of acids okay you can see some acids and their uses first acetic acid what is the another name of acetic acid ethanoic acid where it is present vinegar acetic acid is used in the preservation of pickles what preservation of pickles okay which acid is used in the preservation of pickles acetic acid or vinegar or ethanoic acid okay next citric acid citric acid is used in the preparation of lemon rice okay next is the h2so4 h2so4 means sulfuric acid the general name of h2so4 as sulfuric acid is king of chemicals very very important king of chemicals what is the king of chemicals chemical name sulfuric acid 
what is the formula h2so4 it is used in motor vehicle batteries where is that used motor vehicle batteries which acid is used in motor vehicle batteries sulfuric acid it is also used in the preparation of fertilizers okay used in the preparation of fertilizers next hcl hcl means hydrochloric acid it is used in the preparation of paints okay which acid is used in the preparation of paints or colors hydrochloric acid and then medical use preparation of tablets what la hcl uses class 1 hno3 hno3 means nitric acid it is used in the preparation of fertilizers nitrogen fertilizers example dap urea okay nitric acid is also used as a explosive important explosive which acid is used in the preparation of rdx and dynamite nitric oxide which acid is used in the preparation of nitrogen fertilizers nitric acid which acid is used in the preparation of colors hydrochloric acid which acid is the king of chemicals sulfuric acid which acid is used in the preparation of lemon rice citric acid which acid is used in the preservation of pickles acetic acid or vinegar which acid is used in the motor vehicle batteries sulfuric acid okay these are the uses of acids these are the acids and their sources this is about acids okay thank you if you like my video please subscribe and like my channel if you have any doubt please mention in the comment box okay thank you